Just 100 nuclear bombs, and not only South Asia, but the entire world could suffer. This is not just war, it's the end of civilization as we know it. India tested its first nuclear weapon in 1974, calling it Smiling Buddha. Pakistan responded in 1998 with tests in the Chagai Hills. Since then, both nations have become nuclear-armed neighbors in a high-tension region. As of 2024, India is estimated to have around 160 to 170 nuclear warheads. Its arsenal includes Agni ballistic missiles, nuclear-capable aircraft like the Su-30 MKI, and sea-based systems like the INS Arahant submarine. Pakistan, with approximately 160 warheads as well, focuses heavily on missile-based delivery systems like Shaheen and Gauri, and is unique for its battlefield-use tactical nuclear weapons like the NASA. India follows a no-first-use nuclear doctrine. It promises not to strike first unless attacked with nuclear weapons. Pakistan, however, reserves the right to use nukes first if it feels its existence is at stake, even against conventional attacks. This difference creates a dangerous imbalance. In a nuclear exchange where 100 to 150 warheads are used across major cities, over 20 to 30 million people could die instantly. Hospitals, power grids and emergency systems would collapse. Survivors would face burns, cancer and radiation poisoning. But the disaster doesn't end there. Massive fires would inject smoke into the upper atmosphere, blocking sunlight. This nuclear winter could drop global temperatures by up to 2 degrees Celsius. Agricultural collapse would follow, leading to a global famine affecting over a billion people across Asia, Africa and even the United States. India and Pakistan have hotlines, diplomacy and people-to-people -people bonds. But one miscalculation, one terror attack or one mistaken signal could change everything. That's why awareness, dialogue and peace are the only sustainable weapons we need. Support peace, support science, share this message before it's too late. Subscribe to the Science Capsule where science meets truth.